Okay, I'm gonna look at a unit today here that uh, was destroyed by a pressure washer. Um, and I'm gonna let you see a prime example of why you do not use a pressure washer to clean or do whatever you're trying to do to your unit with it. Now, if you see these fins, how bent they are. And they're very delicate. Let me see if I can find the spot where they look normal because they are bent pretty bad everywhere. Um, I'm assuming you can see that. That right there is really bad. And the airflow just cannot get through. Now, there's a spot right there where they look almost normal. You can see right there. And we compare that, compare that to right there and to right there. You see how they're all bent over. That's an almost normal looking spot there. I guess they didn't want to reach down real low and that's why they didn't get all of it. Let's see. Usually there'll be a, a part that was against the wall. Yeah, see, they didn't get that much of it here, but it did get some. Now right there is a good normal spot. That's how the fins look when the air can get through them. So you can imagine that if we're trying to get air through there and throw the heat out of the top of it and we block those off, you can just imagine how that will kill the efficiency and the overall effectiveness of it. I mean, it can't do its job. Look at that, it's just flat. No air is going through there. That's just terrible. So, moral of the story is, do not use a pressure washer on your air conditioning unit. And here's a bad example of what it can do. Of what not to do. This one, this one here took a beating pretty good. This is a buddy of mine's house, and he thought he's just going to clean it up a little bit. He's going to spray the coils off, and look what yeah, he done. Yeah, it got the back a little bit, too. Did it? Yep. Yeah. So. You live and learn. So this is, as you can see, just flattened out. So I'm gonna pick him out the right fin comb and loan it to him and he's gonna save himself $215 an hour so I don't have to do it and see if he can save this coil. Let's hope he can because this right here has just ruined this. Now I've taken these two grates off and i'm not gonna uh spend my time here at doing this but the homeowner is going to give it a shot himself he's a good guy he's a friend of mine and we're going to let him try now right here is a section of what it's supposed to look like and this is where he didn't hit it he got a little bit back here but he didn't hit it there across the front where it was you know dirty and ugly and he's just trying to make it look better you can see how bad it flattened it out so looking at the difference there you can see what it does
That's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it's not supposed to look like. So let's see if we can pick the right comb out for him and loan it to him and come back over here in a couple of weeks and see how he's done. So I have very slow and very meticulously combed out this one section. And I'm taking about a half a bite at a time. You can't get it perfect. But then, come on down with it, you know. Only put about half of it in the bad and the other half in the good. And it's not gonna be perfect. But it allows the air to flow. But any air you can get to it that's better than this is going to make a big difference. And as you can see, I'm probably not being quite patient enough with it. But you can feel it when it goes down in there. Oh yeah, it just drops in. And you can see a large improvement in this small area here. Yes, sir. So I'm going to take this red one off and leave it here for you. Appreciate that, too. I'll let you see if you can... That really opened that up where the air can flow. Make that look like that.